After a gap of 20 years, gliding came back to Tarrant Rushton. Between 1965 and 1981, the airfield became the home of the Dorset Gliding Club. This rare film was shot by Ron Simpson, a Fleet Air Arm electrician seconded to RAF Tarrant Rushton in 1944 to work with ground crews servicing Halifaxes. Sit back and enjoy a trip round Tarrant Rushton, on the ground and in the air, just a year or two before it was closed and demolished. Seatbelt on, here we go, taking off from the 4,000 foot runway 0826, heading northeast towards the village of Witchhampton. Passing the Iron Age Hill Fort of Badbury Rings. And into sight comes the airfield. What a wonderful, welcoming sight it must have looked for tired air crews returning from long and dangerous nighttime operations. Behind the control tower is the technical site, Hangar 1 by the main gate, and the 298 squadron flights, crew rooms, and offices to the bottom right. along runway 0826, up the main mile-long runway 0119. The control tower is a tiny cube of white with the 644 squadron flights, crew room and squadron offices behind. From the technical site, across the access road to the newly demolished communal area with the woods beyond. Coming into land alongside runway 0826. Across runway 0119. And onto the grass. Wait for it. The mid-1950s had seen efforts to oust flight refuelling from its airfield home, objectors deriding the 1,000-plus staff as the Easy Money Boys. The requisitioned land should have been handed back to the owners, the Harding family and the Critchell estate, by the Air Ministry in 1958. But as FR was doing government work, the Ministry bought the airfield and then leased it back to the company. Commander Martin of the Critchell estate was furious and took FR and the Air Ministry to the High Court. Provided staff didn't exceed 1,100, the court ruled the airfield didn't need to be vacated until 1971. 
a deadline later extended by 10 years. Tuesday, September 30th, 1980, was the last day that Tarrant Rushton was alive. In the control tower, call sign Rushton Tower, Shirley Bonniewell, known as Legs and Laughs, allowed the final flight refuelling aircraft to fly out. The airfield had finally closed after 37 years. <laughs>